Welcome to today's episode. A few weeks ago, we talked about hybrid cloud and what hybrid cloud means to you based on a survey I started in last year. Now, today I want to introduce another concept and I'm actually wondering, sitting here, is like, how much do you know about distributed cloud? Is this even something that you ever heard about it? Would you even know how to define it? So before I just give you the definition or how Gartner defines it, I want you to take a second and just think about what do you think is distributed cloud? What do you think is this about? Do you right now assume it's the same as hybrid cloud or do you think it's a separate thing? I would like to know in the comments at the end when I tell you what it is, if you think it's the same or not. But let me give you the definition of how Gartner positions it and how Gartner talks about it. Distributed cloud is the distribution of public cloud services to different physical locations via the operation, governance, updates and evolution of the service or the responsibility of the originating public cloud provider. Given that definition, do you feel like this is the same as hybrid? Or is it different? Like when you think in my world that I get to represent Azure Stack, is that distributed cloud? It's kind of not, because you're in control, it's your hardware. You decide if you're gonna apply the update or not, it's not Microsoft. And so the operation, the governance, the updates, are not in the responsibility of Microsoft. They are in your responsibility, ergo, it doesn't fall into it. So then, hmm, what are distributed cloud offering? For sticking to the Microsoft offering, you have regions, that's a distribution in a sense, but here they're talking even further, closer to the customers, like just because if you think of big cloud computing as these really big, heavy regions with this monstrous data center, and this now is the distribution going out. And so in my world, it's, for example, Azure Edge Zones. That could be in our Edge or in an Edge with an operator, as an example. That's a very clear example of distributed cloud because it's our cloud. We are basically in the, it's our responsibility for operations, governance, updates, and devolutions of the services stays with Microsoft. If you think of AWS, you have AWS Wavelength, you have AWS Local Zone, where AWS brings AWS technology outside. You also have AWS Outpost, which is always connected. AWS manages or does the operation, the governance and the updates and the evolution of the service on Outpost. With Google, I tried to search it. I couldn't find immediately a service that they actually have that is equal to like what Outpost or actually matches with this with this definition because if I think of Antos, Antos, while Antos is a past service, the infrastructure below if you run um, let's say Antos on premises, that updating patching is absolutely in your control so that operation model and everything stays with you. It's not that Google does that for you. I'm sure Google has some kind of zone offering. I searched for roughly 10 minutes on GCP, I couldn't find it. If you know about it, please let me know in the links I had problems to identify. And so now Gartner, for example, has a headline that kind of like says, distributed cloud fixes what hybrid cloud broke. So in Gartner's world, these two are different things because in their definition of hybrid, I assume what they really mean is like you were in control. It's like your operations, you have like your private clouds, call it what you want, your own premises. You have the public cloud, you have that mix that you're doing across your environments. And here, all you get is basically the same cloud service. It's managed by the cloud. It's operated by the cloud provider and it's actually not going into you. It's just the different, different physical locations. And if we're comparing that with the offerings I mentioned, we look at edge zones as an example an edge zone is not going to be exactly the same as a region right it's a smaller footprint it's not that gigantic data center if you will it's really optimized for low latency workloads it brings some azure services but it's not the same just as today amsterdam in europe is not exactly the same than zurich or paris there are differences in these data centers even though both are data centers so it's a smaller footprint but at the end as far as you're concerned is it's the same. You go to the portal and you say, I want to deploy X in that location. You don't have to worry about anything below. And I think that really is when they talk about distributed cloud, what they mean. 
So what I would like to hear from you, and I'm not gonna make a survey, don't worry about it, in the notes, in the comments here on YouTube, let me know if you agree, do you believe distributed cloud is hybrid or do you think it should be treated separately? It would be awesome if you participate. I look forward to read the, the comments that I got and let's have a conversation about this. And let me know, do you think it's a great idea? I think it's an awesome idea, but let me know what you think. Thanks for watching. If you haven't yet, please subscribe. If you find this channel valuable, please share it with your friends. I really appreciate your help to spread the word. Thanks.